In this tutorial, we'll show you how to analyze past performance using graphs. Let's start by identifying three basic types of graphs. Measure graphs plot instantaneous values of any measurements made by EG Enterprise with time of day. Trend graphs store trend data on an hourly, daily, and monthly basis. And summary graphs are useful for looking at SLA and OLA performance, or an overall picture of performance for a component. And this tutorial is going to focus on the first two, measurement and trend graphs. You can access any of these graphs by clicking the graph icon from the alarm window or from a layer model. Let's go to the measure graph from the alarm window by clicking the graph icon. You can change the timeline by using the slider, and by sliding it all the way to the left, you can set the date and time ranges you want. Hovering over the graph shows you the date and time, and by clicking and dragging from left to right, you can zoom into an area on the graph. And you can click the reset zoom to bring it back to where it was. You can display and scroll through the data, as well as export it to an Excel file. This wrench icon lets you change other settings too, like measures, descriptors, date ranges, and look back intervals. One of the things you might see EG operators do is look at a measure graph, zoom into a time period, and then search the detailed diagnosis tab for the same interval, which helps to isolate performance issues. Now let's go to a trend graph from a layer model. Trend graphs look at data over longer periods of time, days, weeks, and months. Since the default timeline is in hours, just go to the wrench icon to adjust the graph to reflect the most appropriate interval. And finally, you can also create graphs directly from the monitor menu. This includes all the graphs we discussed, plus live graphs, which can plot real-time and history data alongside each other for constant observation. Creating and using live graphs is covered in a separate tutorial. To create a graph from the monitor menu, you need to enter all the parameters and just click the graph button. And the wrench uh, allows you to uh, enter additional settings as well. This tutorial focused on analyzing past performance using EG's built-in graphing. Additional graphs and charts can be created in dashboards and reports, which are covered in separate tutorials.